The panda yard at the Smithsonian Zoo has been empty since Tian Tian, Mei Zhang, and Xiao Zhiji were sent back to China in November, leaving Washington without pandas for the first time in 23 years. But pandemonium will soon return. I'm very glad to share with you some good news. Bao Li and Qingbao, our new envoys of friendship, will soon fly over the Pacific and join the big family of the National Zoo. The first panda bears arrived in the U.S. in 1972, when China gifted Ling Ling and Xing Xing following a visit by President Richard Nixon and his wife. But the number of pandas in American zoos has declined as loan agreements with China ended amid tensions with the U.S. It was not immediately clear if the departed pandas would be replaced, although China's President Xi Jinping had suggested that China would send more bears. I was optimistic. Um, I was you know, certain we were going to get pandas back, but if you'd ask me, I'd say two, maybe three years. And I think it's really a testament to our relationship with our colleagues in China that the conversations have gone so quickly and we're able to uh, welcome pandas back to the National Zoo so soon. The pandas coming to the National Zoo are two-year-olds Bao Li and Ching Bao. Bao Li has a connection to the zoo. His mom is Bao Bao, the only female cub of Tian Tian and Mei Zhang, two of the bears who left the zoo last year. He looked just like a miniature version of Tian Tian, so we were just so excited to hear when Bao Li was one of the pandas that was coming. So I think really it's exciting for us staff that have worked with Mei Shang and Tian Tian and worked with Bao Bao that we're getting a descendant. The bears are being loaned to the zoo under a new 10-year research and breeding agreement with the China Wildlife Conservation Association. After the bears are sent on a special FedEx cargo plane, they will be quarantined before making their public debut. The hope is that these new pandas will breed, but panda keeper Marielle Lolly says it will be some time before baby makes three. These two are pretty young. We'll have a few years before we will probably see breeding behaviors from them, but you never know. Things might happen a little earlier, and we'll be talking with our Chinese colleagues every breeding season to see when they think it's the right time to start putting them together for breeding. The Smithsonian has said Ching Bao and Bao Li will arrive in Washington by the end of this year, but haven't provided an official arrival date. Smith did say that both bears will be three years old by the time they arrive in America, signaling they won't leave China until the fall at the earliest. In Washington, Cassie Simeon, Spectrum News.